Welcome to Animaker Tips. My name is Ian and today I'm going to show you how to use the Animaker pop-up effect. Now, as you're watching this video, you'll see the coins are stacking up. That's just an example of using the Animaker pop-up effect. I'm going to show you how to do that. In addition to that, you'll see in this next video, the icons are popping up. So it kind of looks like a wave. I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So all you need to do is to use the Animaker software. I've included a link in the description. This is my affiliate link. When you click on it, it'll take you directly to the Animaker website. You will see the sign up button. You'll need to click on it. And once you do, you'll see the place where to put your name and your email. Or if you want to save some time, you can sign up using the Facebook or Google Plus button. When you log in, you'll see the big get started button. All you need to do is click on it, then click on the blank template. When you do this, the Animaker program will load up your template. Now it's time to add a background to your video. To do this, you'll need to click on the background icon, then select a color. The next step is to upload a coin to this video. All you need to do is to go and click on the properties icon, then type coin. You'll see a coin and then click on it. All right, you've uploaded your coin, but it doesn't look like the one in the video. Well, to fix that, you'll need to click the gear icon, then click on the smiling face and you'll see three views. The view that we're going to use for this video is this one. Once you have it, then drag the coin down to the bottom because we're going to make lots and lots and lots of coins. To do this, we'll first need to add the pop-up effect. So click, go to the workspace toolbar and scroll down until you see pop up. Now that you have the pop up effect, which is this, we need to duplicate the coin. So to do this, you will need to copy the coin. Then you need to duplicate the coin. Once you duplicate it, you'll need to move the needle just a few milliseconds. Then duplicate the coin again. Then move the needle just a few seconds. Duplicate the coin again, then move the needle just a few seconds. As you're doing this, you're going to need to do many, many, many coins. So you have a huge pile of coins. Now that you have a lot of coins, it's time to press play to see the result. It's pretty cool, isn't it? But guess what? There's more. I'm going to show you now the wave effect. Now to create the wave effect, we're going to need to add a new scene by clicking this button right here. Then I'm going to go to backgrounds and pick a different color. Now I'm going to use a human icon. So in order to get a human icon, I need to click on the properties tab, click on humans, and then scroll down until I see a human icon. This one looks pretty good. Let's use this one. Now that you have the icon, we'll need to resize the icon down. Then I'm going to move it towards the left side of the screen. Now, the next step that I personally like to use is the grid line. This will help me make sure that when I make the different icons, that it's straight. So it looks professional. It's now time to add the pop-up effect. So to do this, go to the workspace toolbar, scroll down until you see pop up. Now we're going to copy this icon and then paste the icon. When you paste it, you're going to need to move the icon a little bit towards the right and then move the needle a little bit towards the right. Remember, make sure you just move it a few milliseconds. Then we're going to copy again. Then we're going to move the character towards the right side and then move the needle towards the right side. Always remember to make sure that you only move it a few milliseconds. So we're going to repeat the same process for the rest of the sequence. So you're going to have five icons in total. It's now time to check out the animation. So as you watch the animation, you'll see it kind of forms that wave effect. It's pretty nice. And I personally like this wave effect because I've seen it quite a lot in many explainer videos. So that pretty much wraps up the episode. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. And if you haven't watched my last video on the Animaker Curve tool, I highly recommend that you check it out. If you have any questions about using Animaker, Please ask me those questions and I'm going to definitely reply and show you how to use the program. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next Animaker Tips tutorial.